Welcome to another episode of Reversing Glass. I'm Matt Rose, Field CISO at Reversing Labs. Today's episode is all about typo squatting. You may have heard about typo squatting uh, associated with supply chain risk, associated with open source repositories, but I wanted to dig in and kind of talk about typo squatting and why it's actually a real issue. It's very similar to tricking somebody uh, with a ransomware attack where you get a FedEx shipping label that looks like it's totally legit. You click on it and boom, the um, malware is uh, downloaded to your uh, system to encrypt it, all those type of things. So typo squatting really started with um, you are you really url manipulation and let's just say we have uh, a website called rev uh, reversing glass dot com well they could manipulate it in many different ways where they could be rev rls dot com oh, forgot to see there or www dot they play with the terminology. It looks like it is what it's supposed to be. And the biggest thing is you make a mistake. Well, this has been extrapolated into open source packages where if I have uh, a package called Rev Glass, which is the actual package, and then somebody uploads a bunch of different spellings, you know, like, okay, I need a rev glass package from open source package from my application. I go get it. And the problem is, is that speed gets in the way. People are like, oh, I kind of know what that looks like. Uh, oh, rev glass. Okay. I'll grab that one and download it. That's what the hackers are trying to uh, make you do. They anticipate you may do that. Just a human error of reading it wrong and not really understanding which package is the right one. And one of the biggest things I think that is associated with these type of issues is the speed of DevOps programs these days. You want to get it done faster. You want to get it done uh, within a, a time frame that's acceptable to the project manager, and you make a mistake. It's a human mistake, and most of these hacks are associated with a human mistake. You know, uh, ransomware. You download something. You open up a, a, a malware-infected package. Uh, you're actually not uh, going to the correct URL, which was uh, kind of the original um, kind of standard of typo squatting. And people are probably saying, I'd never do that. I know what it's called. Well, the human mind, and this is all psychological warfare, is a strange thing. And to think about it, I have this little example from the web. This is something that just shows the human mind can actually fix things and see things that aren't actually accurate. Let everybody read this, but every one of these uh, words in this paragraph are misspelled. So thinking about it that way, you actually can go through and read this. I know I can, maybe not everybody can do it, but you can read this and know exactly what it's saying, even though all the words are misspelled and your brain just fixes it in the head. It's usually the first letter and last letter are the same. The middle piece is different and your eyes just scan over it, especially if you're busy, you're overworked, trying to meet a deadline, you may grab uh, the wrong open source package and then insert that into your application and then it's compiled as part of the application and there you have a supply chain attack. Make sure that you know what you're looking for, verify the name is exactly the name, and don't let your brain trick you in terms of thinking something is what it isn't for that matter. That's typo squatting, wanted to throw something out there for food for thought. As you're developing software, make sure your brain doesn't get in the way of your development. I'm Matt Rose, Field CISO at Reversing Labs. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the episode.